Esophagogastroduodenoscopy, Wikipedia Audio Esophagogastroduodenoscopy, also called by various other names, is a diagnostic endoscopic procedure that visualizes the upper part of the gastrointestinal tract down to the duodenum. It is considered a minimally invasive procedure since it does not require an incision into one of the major body cavities and does not require any significant recovery after the procedure. However, a sore throat is common. The complication rate is about 1 in 1000. They include Problems of gastrointestinal function are usually not well diagnosed by endoscopy since motion or secretion of the gastrointestinal tract are not easily inspected by EGD. Nonetheless, findings such as excess fluid or poor motion of the gut during endoscopy can be suggestive of disorders of function. Irritable bowel syndrome and functional dyspepsia are not diagnosed with EGD but EGD may be helpful in excluding other diseases that mimic these common disorders. Medical Uses The tip of the endoscope should be lubricated and checked for critical functions including, tip angulations, air and water suction, and image quality. The patient is kept NPO or NBM that is, told not to eat for at least four hours before the procedure. Most patients tolerate the procedure with only topical anesthesia of the oropharynx using lidocaine spray. However, some patients may need sedation and the very anxious-slash-agitated patient may even need a general anesthetic. Informed consent is obtained before the procedure. The main risks are bleeding and perforation. The risk is increased when a biopsy or other intervention is performed. Aspiration, causing aspiration pneumonia, bleeding, perforation, cardiopulmonary problems. The patient lies on his slash her left side with the head resting comfortably on a pillow. A mouth guard is placed between the teeth to prevent the patient from biting on the endoscope. The endoscope is then passed over the tongue and into the oropharynx. This is the most uncomfortable stage for the patient. Quick and gentle manipulation under vision guides the endoscope into the esophagus. The endoscope is gradually advanced down the esophagus making note of any pathology. Excessive insufflation of the stomach is avoided at this stage. The endoscope is quickly passed through the stomach and through the pylorus to examine the first and second parts of the duodenum. Once this has been completed, the endoscope is withdrawn into the stomach and a more thorough examination is performed including a J-maneuver. This involves retroflexing the tip of the scope so it resembles a J-shape in order to examine the fundus and gastroesophageal junction. Any additional procedures are performed at this stage. The air in the stomach is aspirated before removing the endoscope. Still photographs can be made during the procedure and later shown to the patient to help explain any findings. In its most basic use, the endoscope is used to inspect the internal anatomy of the digestive tract. Often inspection alone is sufficient but biopsy is a valuable adjunct to endoscopy. Small biopsies can be made with a pincer which is passed through the scope and allows sampling of 1 to 3 mm pieces of tissue under direct vision. The intestinal mucosa heals quickly from such biopsies. Endoscopic image of adenocarcinoma of duodenum seen in the postbulbar duodenum. Endoscopic image of gastric antral vascular ectasia seen as a radial pattern around the pylorus before and after treatment with argon plasma coagulation. Endoscopic image of Barrett's esophagus, which is the area of red mucosa projecting like a tongue. Deep gastric ulcer. Endoscopic still of duodenum of patient with celiac disease showing scalloping of folds. 
Diagnostic Gastric ulcer in antrum of stomach with overlying clot due to gastric lymphoma. Endoscopic image of a posterior wall duodenal ulcer with a clean base, which is a common cause of upper GI hemorrhage. Endoscopic images of an early stage stomach cancer. 0 IIA, TUB1. Left column, normal light. Right column, computed image enhanced. First row, normal. Second row, acetate stained. Third row, acetate indigo carmine mixture stained. Esophagogastroduodenoscopy or esophagogastroduodenoscopy is also called panendoscopy and upper GI endoscopy. It is also often called just upper endoscopy, upper GI, or even just endoscopy, because EGD is the most commonly performed type of endoscopy. The ambiguous term endoscopy is sometimes informally used to refer to EGD by default. The term gastroscopy literally focuses on the stomach alone, but in practice the usage overlaps. Surveillance Confirmation of diagnosis slash biopsy Therapeutic Newer interventions Complications Limitations Procedure Equipment Alternative names